Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about mixed tocopherol, the best antioxidant to use for uh, formulating organic skincare products. Uh, the reason for making this video is that I want to point to you the best grade of vitamin oil antioxidant to use in your formulation. I know you must have seen uh, D acetate, acetate, you know, and so on. But the best grade to use mixed tocopherol. Okay, mixed tocopherol is the best grade to use. Why? Because it's a mixture of uh, D alpha, D beta, D gamma, and D delta. Tocopherol. It's very strong because the mixture of these four types of tocopherol, uh, vitamin E, will give you know your essential oil a longer shelf life. Okay, so it's going to give you essential oil a longer shelf life. Then it will help to extend the shelf life also of your product when you had it. It's an antioxidant, but the best grade to use is MT50. Keep in mind that. Uh, vitamin E is not a preservative okay uh, the one I'm talking to you about MT50 is a mixed tocopherol uh, the, uh, the blend of four full spectrum tocopherols okay will really help greatly to extend the chef life of your oil uh, these are GMO free and gluten free products it's um, it's actually you know you can use it at 0.5 percent in your formulation to extend the chef life of the product or you can also add it to your carrier oil to extend the shelf life. Uh, the usage rate is usually between um, 0.5, okay, to 2%, and sometimes even up to 30% uh, usage rate, okay. So keep that in mind and do not uh, substitute this for a vitamin for preservative. So when you want to formulate your skincare product, remember we had these. Um, in the cooling phase especially when you're making emulsion you had this in the cooling phase and here is how it looks okay this is just uh, a brownish you know liquid you can easily as you can see it's different it's uh, from the regular vitamin E so don't get this wrong when you want to choose a uh, blend of vitamin E to use this is how it is you can easily add it to your carrier oil or you can easily add it to um, your emulsion at the cool down phase so keep this in mind I have uh, tried to make this video for a long time and uh, one of my students at naturalskincareschool.com asked me about it so that's why I said I will make this video today to warn uh, all my friends here at Natural Skincare School YouTube channel. Um, some of you, well, I know you must have been using vitamin E that you buy maybe on Amazon and no, you have to make sure uh, you buy the best, okay, this is the best for you, empty uh, mixed tocopherol and you can use it at 0.5% in the cool down phase of your formulation. So if you have any question about this uh, antioxidant, or all the antioxidants, uh, feel free to drop that question in the, in the comment box below. And if you want to learn more about formulating grid and stable skincare products, this is a channel for you. So click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. You want to upgrade your formulation skill to another level, head over to naturalskincareschool.com to sign up today. This is uh, where I take advanced uh, formulator and even upcoming one uh, on another journey, you know, of uh, formulation, we formulate based the different skincare products uh, by project, project by project. That's how we do it here at Natural Skincare School. So don't forget, head over to naturalskincareschool.com to see the exciting thing that's going on there. So I wish you the best in your skincare formulation journey. This is one of the series of my video that I'll be doing on. Um, cosmetic in ingredients and the best way to use them and the best one for you. So thank you so much everyone for watching.